What is going on guys? It's Ben here bringing you another Vanglory video. In today's video we are using Weapon Power Black Feather. Um, so it is kind of late at night here, kind of a little tired so this might be a little bit chill of a video. We're going against a very very interesting team comp. They don't really have a gel, like a typical support. It's similar to when I had my fastest game so maybe they're just trying to snowball or Maybe someone in solo queue just insta locked and then someone got mad and insta locked another thing. You never know. Uh, but either way, using Black Feather is. I've been using him a little bit lately and he's actually got. He had some changes in the update where his auto attacks actually feel like auto attacks. And I think. I don't know the exact changes to him, but I think someone said like he got cooldown on his abilities or something like that. Um, and it's a little bit better. Uh, but he is actually very weak early game. Uh, you can either play him in the jungle or in the lane. And as you can see, this scarf is just super aggressive, just trying to bully me completely out of the lane. And I can't really do anything much about that because he hit his Spitfire. Uh, so that kind of hurt my farm. Uh, and it also... I mean... I, I, I don't think like that was a bad play by him, but I just wanted to let you guys know. This scarf is uber aggressive early on, and as you can see, like... That's the thing that's kind of like the downside of Black Flare lane, like early game. You can't really, you can't really compete versus like a Scarf or many of those other ones. You just gotta kind of avoid them, and which I did not do a good job there. And he actually ended up killing me. And then our jungle also was having a little bit rough times too because of like the early aggression. Like I think I'm pretty sure they're trying to comp where they just try and snowball. Uh, like you guys saw my fastest game, something like that. But I'm gonna, pretty much this video I'm gonna be talking about like what I've seen with Black Feather, what I could be doing better, uh, what I think works really well with him. Um, Honestly, I think weapon power is amazing. Uh, I think it's actually a lot better than CP. And a lot of you may like CP, but th here's the problem with like CP. Most of your damage comes from your B ability. If you go CP, you overdrive that, you get that insane poke damage, and that's about it. <laughs> um, it's like the weapon power is just so much more consistent and it's a lot better late game uh, because if you guys don't know how really Black Feather works as a hero, like whenever you hit someone with an auto attack or your B ability or any ability actually, it has like a it puts a heart over their head, kind of like a cruel's like smite stack. And if you get full stacks, those heart like break, which is five. So if you get five stacks on a hero, and then you use your first ability, and you pop those stacks, and it does a huge ton of burst damage. And your ultimate, it does a great job of getting more stacks on them. Your B ability, and if you can just use that and get a bunch of stacks it kills them so fast late game uh, but that leads me to my next point black feather like i said is really weak early game uh he does not have an escape at all uh, and as you can see here they somehow got my lane brush up there didn't see it got ganked this early game is not going good for us at all um it, and it's it's good because a lot of you like to see or we do struggle in our games so you can see like the corrective ways that how to take it so in this early game i probably should have just played super 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 passive and just caution it all at all times with how aggressive these guys are this scarf is like one of the um over aggressive scarfs i've ever seen in my entire life uh, <laughs> and but you can see he paid the price there he stayed too long trying to take the turret but yeah so black feather literally does not have an escape until he's level six uh so until you're level six if you're laning you have to be very cautious Unless you get boots early on, so you can run out of things. But the thing about his ultimate is it's one of the best escape tools or catch up tools in the game because his ultimate, you don't, you say you go out of it, you don't even get stunned by the Arden Gauntlet. You can just use your ultimate and walk out of the Arden Gauntlet wall. Um, you can like outrun a Catherine that's trying to stun you if you have your thing up. And then I don't know if this is actually true or not. You guys could be the deciders here. His ultimate, like, one time I was playing, I had a Kashka on my team who tried to stun a Black Feather, and the Black Feather used his ultimate, and he did not get stunned by the Kashka ult. I don't think he reflex block it, I just, because I didn't see ref reflex block go off or anything, I just saw the ultimate, his ultimate go off, and then Kashka's ult got cancelled, and it didn't work. Um, so I, I think you can block a Kashka ult with, if you time it perfectly on the Black Feather ult, that's something, if you guys have noticed that too, so... His ultimate has a ton of utility, it also applies all those stacks, so this is kind of like the build. As you can see here, I, I unfortunately lose this turret here. Uh, I could not do anything to stop it. That Scarf was just pushing so much. Um, 
Maybe if my team came up to like gank a little bit more, it would have helped, but I was just getting so bullied in lane, I literally could not do anything uh, because those two early kills on myself was not good, and that hurt my farm a ton too. Uh, but it's okay. Um, late game, Black Feather is when he really shines. Same with well, mid, mid to late game. Like Early game, he's fairly weak. Um, in the jungle, it's not as bad, but he's still fairly weak in the jungle. Like mid game to late game, he's a monster, dude. Uh, but like the recommended build I would do if you're doing weapon power is definitely get a Star Blade, and then a Shiver Steel is nice. Uh, but if you really need to get more core defenses first, like a like some shields, like for this game, I probably should get get shields right away for that scarf because he's annihilating me. Um, so you you go for the sh uh, <laughs> I was gonna say Shatter Glass, the uh, I can't even think now, <laughs> the Star Blade. Uh, then you build up some defense so you can actually survive because he's fairly squishy as you can see these fireballs are destroying my health uh, if I get hit by another one I'm gonna die here so I'm trying to avoid them that Kestrel's there trying to kill me I'm like alright heck no I'm just backing out my team's there they're a little bit overzealous I don't like jump in for the kill and I'm like okay and I got actually some auto attacks from the uh, the book of eulogies and I got some health back but I, I'm still fairly low but yeah so Get some uh, some uh, weapon power damage. Get some sustain. A shiver steel is good early on if you can afford to just only have that as your defense. Uh, otherwise, get like a light shield, metal jacket, depending on the situation. The shiver steel is just nice because you use it before you go in and in a fight. Say you use your ultimate, you slow them all, and then because your whole point for Black Feather is to literally try and get those five heartthrob stacks and then pop them with your first ability. That is where most of his damage comes, and it's an insane amount of burst. So I recommend getting a Shiver Steel if you can, if you're able to. And then you get the Star Blade, get some attack speed because it also aids in getting the um, the Heartthrob stacks on them. So this is like a typical build how it would look for me is like Star Blade, a defense item, Tornado or not Tornado Trigger, uh, Blazing Salvo. You keep it at a Blazing Salvo for a majority of the game, and then you. Build up your defense, like get some shields, get some metal jackets, and then uh, late game when you can survive long enough, that's when you get the breaking point. Uh, the breaking point is amazing on them, I think, <laughs> to be honest. If you can survive long enough, you use your ultimate, get all those break point stacks and everything like that. It's ridiculous. And then you can see here that scarf just gets melted. And then my ultimate is so good for chasing. I thought they were for sure going to be able to kill that enemy black feather, so I just followed this one. Let's kill her. Uh, but I underestimated that uh, because their black feather ended up actually evading our Catherine and getting away. I was too focused on killing the Kestrel. And now, as you can see, like right here, I saw him porting, but he already got away, so that's unfortunate. But I haven't really been talking too much about the gameplay early on. Uh, it's because we failed to be super passive, I think. Um, black feather. You can't really engage in too many fights unless you have like a really aggressive comp. Like say I had a Kashka Fortress on my team, then it would be okay. And then I'm like, screw this, dude. This scarf is getting too, too aggressive. So I was just trying to deal some damage, get him off. If I felt more confident that I had like a little bit more defense, I probably and I had another point in my alt, or I had like a, the, the second charge of my alt, I probably would have went and tried to kill the scarf. But as you can see, the shields are coming up. I don't have any attack speed yet. Um, because I really didn't have the chance to get any, uh, but I'm like, you know what, this scarf is annoying me, we're going for the kill here, I have my ultimate up, sky's melting, this black feather's trying to run away, turret is there, it doesn't even matter, we dive him, destroy him, and now we're in the game, <laughs> yeah, cause it was so rough early game, but you can see, like, once you get a sorrow blade, and some sort of defense to stay alive, and preferably some attack speed, you can, you can pretty much deal a ton of damage, and it's only like eight minutes in. That's pretty much all you need. Your ultimate, like one core item, some defense, and you can be perfectly fine. And then the Catherine thought she could tank the turret right there at this point in the game, and I don't think a level like six Catherine can do that. So, but we're running away here. I'm burning to death like crazy. We took the turret. If I would have died here, I still think it would have been worth it. But this black feather wants me dead. He wants me, then he also wants to kill our uh, Sky, but we were like, oh, get out of here. And he just took that 4 barrage in the face, and we got out, so that was good. But now is the time when you get the Blazing Salvo, you get that attack speed. I'm building an Aegis, because that Scarf is literally melting me. 
Uh, other things that may work, um, I don't really go Serpent's Mask with Black Feather. Uh, it, it, it's okay. Uh, maybe if there was like I was playing against like a Saw. The Eulogies is just like for the lane because you kind of need it to stay alive. But I'm like, you know what? This Scarf has been pissing me off the whole game. We're going for him. I think he's by himself. He's overly aggressive. I get those full Heartthrob stacks. Use my boots and just steal all my autos and try and kill him. And then we actually do pick up the kill. Uh, my teammates are down there fighting the enemy. Uh, so that's why I was able to engage on that without having any fear. Well, actually, there was still some fear that they were might have been in the lane brush there. But I was like, screw it. You know what? This scarf man needs to get out of my face. <laughs> He's been pissing me off the whole game. He's like super aggressive. And then you know, I'm trying to build my stacks on this uh, black feather here. He gets caught in the alt. And we're able to take him down. I almost died by the turret. Not quite though. And then the scarf comes back. And I'm really, really weak. So I need to GTFO, man. <laughs> Unless the captain did have the renewal. But I don't. I think she might have used it already. So uh, we're just like, we gotta back out. I got I got enough items to get some things. I don't even know what I buy here, uh, to be honest. Get the Aegis. Nice. And I do start building light armor for their Black Feather because... Literally, when, at this point right here where I have a Sour Blade and Blazing Salvo, you can stay at this um, with just this for a while and you'll deal enough damage. If you get those 5 Heartthrob stacks, use your ultimate properly. And you can see I don't even go Shiver Steal this game. For the fact that I needed those shields right away to be able to survive. Uh, but like you can sit at this point in the game with just those two damage items for a while. You will definitely deal more than enough damage for your team. Um, it's just kind of like towards the late game when you want to get that breaking point for sure. Because first, like a lot, I see a lot of people do this sometimes where they get breaking point. Like, like some cruels will do this and Oracle I know hates this. Where like some cruels will get a shiver steal as their only defense item and then they'll get a breaking point next which is not a very good idea and I'll give you the reason here why because breaking point is really good if you can get like 20 stacks and you can see I actually melted that scarf there I'm trying to catch up to the black for feather use my on point and can I get this last hit? no I, I could have used my B ability that whole time but I just auto attacked him oh yeah so if you can't survive what's the point of having a breaking point like because you, the, the breaking point is only really effective if you get like the high st amount of stacks, and if you don't have much defense, like if you just have a shiver steal, it's not very good. I see a lot of cruels actually be do like doing that. Um, and if you watch Oracle play, he actually doesn't get it until really late in the game. Um, that's the same concept with like Black Feather. You don't really need it unless, or until you know you can survive long enough in fights for it to be effective. Like right now, I still get melted fairly quickly, so there's no reason for me to get it. Because I'll die too quickly before it'll be even worth it. And you can say I almost died by that ult there. <laughs> now I'm just chilling around here. I'm like, Catherine, renew. Renew, Catherine. That's why I'm trying to stick like, by her so I get this renewal. And she just won't use it. I don't know if it's on cooldown or what. But right about here, I think she uses it. And I was like, I wanted. I didn't have him on comms. I would have been like, did you seriously have that the whole time and never used it? Because otherwise we could have turned on him. Uh, but that's alright. Um, just cleaning the lane. Just getting drilled and drilled by the scarf ult. I was actually gonna go in on the like dive on there, but I saw the Catherine and thought better of it, so I was like, alright, let's just recall here. <laughs> oh yeah. But yeah, so that's the point of the breaking point. You need to be able to survive. You can see I got the metal jacket now, and this is where this is a time where I can actually start to if I want to build the breaking point, because I have enough defense, I counter their uh I counter their black feather with a metal jacket, which is very good. I counter uh, their scar or I was gonna say sky, their scarf with an Aegis, so I can actually survive in fights. When you can actually survive long enough and good enough in fights, uh, that's when it's time to maybe pick up the breaking point. And besides, like late game or mid game, we're still in the mid game stages here, I'd say. Like mid game is like I don't know what eight to like. 15 minutes 14 minutes I'd say do you guys agree so until like late game that's when you really that's when you need to get the breaking point I'd say uh, so you over time and long because that's when lo fights get really long and this scarf again tried to push lane and gets caught out so that hurt them pretty badly it also hurts that they don't really have a tank so yeah things are starting to go in our favor uh, the early aggression was really hard on us but we survived 
We didn't let it snowball too much, like they only got the one turret. And you can see I've only died twice now, and we're getting these payouts, so it's all good. I think the turning point was when we took that gold mine uncontested. That was really good. And you, I think I actually sell... I want to see something here. I'm, Because I never knew... I, I know if you sell potions back, you get your full gold amount, so it doesn't matter how many potions you sell and rebuy. Uh, but I didn't know that on infusion, so that's something I really wanted to check out, because I have enough to get that uh, lucky strike. And right, here, right about here is where I like, I'm like, hmm, can you sell your infusion back for the same price as buying it? And as you can see, you get 500 if you do, so I was like, alright, we're selling it. <laughs> Getting the lucky strike. Uh, and the reason for that is so I can like, because I didn't want to waste my infusion right now, because I didn't know if we were even going to be fighting. Uh, so I was like, I'd rather have this base damage item instead of just waste 500 gold. Because like, if they saw me infuse, they could just completely avoid fighting us. But... I decided to just, and, it, and hey, I don't know if many of you knew that either, you can sell back the infusions for full price, but this scarf, man, trying to overextend a little bit, get some poke damage on me, we're like, we ain't having any of that. So now we start fighting him, I use my boots to catch up to this black feather. You can see I'm not using any of my like A ability until I get full heart throb stacks, well I did there to catch up. But normally you don't use it unless you get those full heart throb stacks, and I'm like, BAM, poked him in the face. <laughs> Almost died. Almost died, you gonna see these minions? Oh my gosh, shoot, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, and I get away somehow. So we dove effectively. I didn't use my on point when I had those full heart throb stacks, that's when the hearts actually shatter. Um, but I honestly just used it to catch up there. But you can see the game is starting to turn in our favor, or well, it already has been, but like, and you can see I don't even have like a shiver steel yet. So at this point in the game, I can survive long enough to be able to get those stacks useless. I was looking at give, getting the Serpent's Mask. Um, I don't know. But I decided to double fuse instead because double infusions are just... Uh, they're, they're, they're amazing. <laughs> Especially this late in the game. But yeah, sometimes you really need the Shiver Steel and sometimes you don't. Uh, it's basically judgment. I'd say it is almost like a must item. But... Like, I, I don't know, it's it's a tough call, like, if you're dying so fast, and you need some shields or anything like I did so badly this game, then screw the Shiver Steel. Uh, but with this game, the Scarf, we catch him out again, able to kill him instantly, we're going after the Black Feather, at least I am, running after him, and you can see I'm trying to wait till those stacks pop, I got the pop stacks, and then he tries to get a wipe, bam, use a good burst of damage, trying to catch up, use my autos, there's no turret for them, and just... Use my ultimate, I was trying to be, I don't know, I could've used my B ability, I could've done a lot of things to kill him faster, but I just wanted to use my ult, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but that's how you do it, you try and wait till you get those full heart throb stacks, and then use that first ability, I think it's the on point. I don't really know the name of them. <laughs> I, 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 I'm really bad at remembering the abilities names, so there we go, get the Kraken. And I decide, I was like, yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna get that surface mask. I said earlier in the video, Serpent's Mask is okay. Um, the Tyrant's Monocle may be a better option, but if you really want some survivability. But you know what? I was like, dude, it's late game. We got this crack and push it. I'm just going to go fight him 3v2. <laughs> or well, that, well, in that situation, it was a two, 1v2 when I saw the captain there. But I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm double infused. We're getting this. They don't have the support. Well, they do, but they don't because like, Kestrel has some support items. Uh, but no like true support where they have like crawl control on me. So... Yeah, that's where the breaking point helped out there, and the double infusions was able to just melt them instantly. So, tips for Black Feather: the build that you can learn from this video. Uh, don't get the breaking point until late game when you're. Like, some of you already know that and it's common sense, but like I see a lot of I see it a lot of times where people just get the breaking point way too early before they can even survive. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully, maybe this video helped you learn a little bit about Black Feather. And everything like that. He's really weak early game, monster late game. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure you like it and over subscribe for more Vanguard videos. Not ready? Hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you guys later.